I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah! I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, talk to State Farm agent David Smith in Clymer or Bill Thompson in Indiana. Hello, I'm Carly Krause of the Indiana Gazette, and welcome to another edition of our high school football preview show. This week, we're reporting from Weller Field, home of the Ligonier Valley Rams. Week 8 of the high school football season will be a huge one in the area. Penn's Manor travels to Ligonier Valley for a battle of unbeaten teams with the Heritage Conference Championship on the line. Both teams are 7-0 and will have only one conference game left. And the winner of Friday night's game will hold a tiebreaker. Neither team has been tested in conference play yet this season, but that could change this week. The game will showcase the area's best offense and defense against the second best offense and defense. The Comets, who are ranked 8th in the state, boast an attack that averages 325.3 rushing yards per game. Last week, Penn's Manor allowed 14 points after giving up only 7 all season. But the Comets scored on all 9 possessions and rolled to another easy victory. Ligonier Valley leads the area in passing, averaging 172.6 yards per game. The Rams have also only allowed 11.1 points per game. Ligonier Valley tops the District 6 Class AA rankings after a 56-0 win over Salzburg last week. In other Heritage Conference action, Northern Cambria welcomes Marion Center with a chance to stay in contention for a playoff spot. The Colts are 9th in the District 6 Class A rankings with the top 8 teams earning a playoff berth. Northern Cambria lost a heartbreaker to L County Catholic last week in a non-conference game and is looking to bounce back and finish the season strong. Marion Center has lost six straight since winning its season opener and is coming off a 34-14 loss to Purchase Line. The Stingers are last in the conference in total offense, averaging just 206.9 yards per game. Salzburg travels to Blairsville with both teams playing for their second win of the season. The Trojans haven't beaten the Bobcats since 1996 and haven't scored more than 13 points in a game yet this year. They have a minus nine turnover margin. Blairsville, which has lost five straight games, hasn't dropped six in a row since 1978. The Bobcats are coming off a 62-14 loss to Penn's Manor, in which they stuck with the Comets through much of the first half. Blairsville is second in the area in passing offense, with 164.6 yards per game. United visits Purchase Line in a matchup of two teams in the middle of the pack in the Heritage Conference. The Lions have won two straight and have some momentum after a big win over Hermo Center last week. United's Brent Mack surpassed the 1,000-yard rushing mark last week with a 235-yard performance. Purchase Line is 4-3 and, and coming off its first win in three weeks. The Red Dragons are second in the area in rushing defense, allowing just 120.7 rushing yards a game. Quarterback Shamar Campbell has rushed for 974 yards through the first seven games and could surpass the 1,000-yard mark on Friday night. Hummer Center plays at West Middlesex in a non-conference game. The Wildcats are 4-3, and, and the Big Reds, who are out of District 10, are 5-2. and two. Hummer Center is 11th in the district rankings and could still make a push towards the playoffs, despite last week's loss. Running back Jesse Lee has rushed for 817 yards and 16 touchdowns. The Big Reds beat the Wildcats 34-6 last year. Playoff bursts are on the line as the WPIL goes into its next to last weekend of the regular season. Apollo Ridge, rejuvenated by the return of running back Dwayne Brown, has won three straight games and needs a win at Deer Lakes to move into playoff position. The Vikings sit in fifth place at 3-3, three three, one game behind Deer Lakes and Valley in the Allegheny Conference, and can move into a playoff spot by beating the Lancers on Friday. Apollo Ridge holds the tiebreaker over Valley and can gain some advantage over Deer Lakes with a win. West Shemokin is looking for back-to-back -back victories after beating Shadyside Academy last week for its first win in the Allegheny Conference. The 2-5 and five Wolves play host to winless Summit Academy. Derry has won four straight games in the Interstate Conference to move into third place. The Trojans can clinch a playoff berth with a win at Burgettstown and have a chance to finish as high as third in the conference. Indiana's playoff hopes were dashed with last week's loss to Gateway, so the Indians are playing for pride. The 2-5 and five Indians hit the road to face 3-4 and four Knock, their biggest rival in recent years. In the Keystone Shortway Athletic Conference, Punxsutawney needs a win over Clarion Limestone to stay in the hunt for a District 6-8-9 playoff berth. 
Both teams are three and four. Be sure to pick up Saturday's paper for full coverage from Friday night and check out live scoring updates on Fridays at IndianaGazette.com. We hope to see you next week for another edition of our preview show.